Good morning all, welcome along. Sam here again, back with another video. This time we're in the Coastal Rimini, it's a 1999 32 by 12 2 bed from 1999, as I just said. And um, we've got some electric heaters in here, a uh, single glazed caravan, priced at 5765. For an older van, it's um, obviously dated in its upholstery and its looks, um, but nothing wrong with that. It's uh, quite clean and practical and would do a job for someone doing a self-build, temporary uh, accommodation, something like that. As you can see, you're joining me here in the uh, in the living room area. This carpet, I believe, is probably the original, judging by the colour and the pattern on it. Faded and has seen better days, but I mean, if you're using it as uh, doing a self-build or something, you're coming in and out from outside all the time, might not be too much of a worry. Upholstery is quite dated. Um, borrowed straight from your grand's house and uh, has seen better days as you can see the fabric has gone through there in a few places depending on your plans for the caravan we can potentially look at recovering it at least just the seat bottoms maybe the backs as well but we can look at doing something but it depends on your plans for it whether you need something done whether you want to keep it as it is because you're going to chuck some throws on there um you know all, to, all down to your plans really for the caravan got a nice big coffee table it fit a lot of coffees on there bit of edging going around the sides going to have some edging in this caravan at the age of it um these types of doors as you can see these co-salts had um, had that sort of thing, but I mean, any caravan of uh, sort of 20 years old is going to have it a lot. But um, for for the price of it, you're just going to strip that off and paint the doors or leave them as they are. To be honest, got two exterior doors. One comes into the living room there, as you can see, and then one comes in back uh, down the sort of hallway area. Coming up then to the dining area, you've got this fitted seating area, same as the living area upholstery, but um, in slightly better condition. Little mirror in the corner, capping around there is gone, but we can easily just stick a bit of new capping on there where it's split. Uh, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. That capping that goes around there, and um, we can get a roll of that and we can redo that quite easily. Uh, turning towards the kitchen then, as you can see, it sort of sit, sits a little bit behind a recessed wall there, so whilst it is all open plan, um, these older caravans tended to have a bit of a partition wall like here on the left, uh, where the fridge is, and just separates things off a little bit. As you can see, it's a good sized kitchen. You've got cupboards up high and down low. You've got a little under counter fridge, a green sink there, and then you've got a, a hob and oven to the right hand side there. Walking then towards the back, the bedrooms. Um, there's no door here, but you have got a bit of an area if you wanted to hang a curtain. Often see that in caravans, hang a curtain to kind of keep the warmth up the front end if need be. Coming to the back of the caravan then, uh, the main bedroom is where we find our. Um, main bedroom sorry um, but you've got two beds on here that's what I was getting confused about two mattresses um, one of them obviously needs taken out they chucked two in for us um, very spoilt we are but we'll take one of those out you can see the doors over the top of the bed there have delaminated um, the wardrobe doors going as well so like I say you're just stripping all that stuff off and you do what you like with the doors at that point paint them or leave them as they are on the left hand side of the room here so the non-door side of the caravan you see we've got our window and you've got a little desk area a little mirrored cupboard in the corner and then on the rear um, both rear corners you've got um, wardrobe space so wardrobe space there and then you've got another one on the left hand side there over in the corner we have got an electric panel heater there as well there's a door there that goes into the bathroom but that'll be jack and jill so I'll close that one for now and we'll go in through the hallway door in a minute, not to confuse things. Hallway carpet's the same as the living room area, so the original bit faded, but can absolutely carry on and do a job. Turning to our right hand side here, you can see we've got two single beds and then we've got a um, bit of delamination again, but cupboard doors over the bed, wardrobe door. Funnily enough, actually, these doors are differently made. So the plastic on this bit's delaminated, but these doors, as you can see, they are hard, like a hard door. They don't have any wrapping on them. So those doors are actually okay, but the uh, the main bedroom ones aren't. So that's just a different way of uh, manufacturing the doors. The wardrobe doors the same. So you can see the hard edge on that. So no problem with the uh, the wardrobe there. A little mirror, um, carpet again, same condition in there as it is everywhere else. So we go back to that shower then, as you can see in the corner here, uh, next to the, the uh, main bedroom, we've got a sink, got a panel heater in there, and then we've got our um, shower enclosure. Um, it looks like the skylight's leaking a little bit, 
so we'll have a look at that and sort that out. It's not a problem, but as you can see, it's a it's a sort of shoulder width shower which opens outwards, but then actually when you get in there, um, it's really quite wide in there. Um, wide, sorry, deep. It's a really deep shower, so plenty of room in there. It's not too wide, but if you turn um, turn the other way, then it becomes wide. So that's our little shower room with toilet, and then if we turn to our side here um, with our exterior door there, um, we've got our little water heater there. Um, sorry, my phone's ringing. Right, we're back. Sorry for the interruption. Um, just having a look now at the little toilet room. So we've got a shower and a basin over there in the corner. And then we've got a toilet and basin over here. So that's the inside of our Coastal Remedy. Um, let's hop outside and we'll take a look around the exterior. Well, here we are then. Having a look at the Coastal Rimini down the offside here. Needs a wash, as most of them do. Panel maybe needs repinning along the bottom, but that's not an issue. But uh, other than cleaning it off, there's no serious damage to worry about. Same around the back, nothing really to worry about. Down the door side, again, looks okay. Looking at the chassis. So it's a standard painted chassis which is going to have a bit of surface rust, it's 20 years old if not more but as you can see it's perfectly solid metal's perfectly solid, yeah I wouldn't put it right on the beach but if you're anywhere inland using it for a few years I wouldn't worry about that at all, it's perfectly solid so that's our Coal Salt Rimini, if you've got any questions at all um, anything that you want to know please get in touch, let me know and uh, we'll try and answer those questions until next time, see you again, stay, uh, stay happy and be wonderful